Okay, so today I want to talk about how to get the price on Uniswap version 3 with eSearch.js. Okay, so so the first, I have this uh, repository and you plan and it has all the you know stuff you need. And so basically, you can you using this you know uh, function, you get the price and um, yeah. So let's explain how it actually works. Okay, so for the detail, I really want you to read the official Uniswap document here, and it says you should use call static method by eSearchJS. Okay, so you using this one, you don't have to pay gas fee. So usually, so if you uh, use this um, use this function, uh, like yeah, on like Polygon scan. And this is a um, state change method, which is you have to pay gas. Yeah. So if you uh, connect wallet and execute this, you have to pay gas. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So you just um, do it like this, you know, using eSearchJS, call static, and like this. Okay. So then you get the uh, expected amount out. So you input, uh, let's say you input 100 die then you get, you know, uh, estimate the amount out. So maybe like 99 USDC and like that. Okay, so let's talk about the fee. So you input fee right here, right? That's only on Uniswap version 3. You, you, you don't have to do that with Uniswap version 2. Okay, so <clears throat> what is this? So you go to um, Uniswap uh, info.uniswap.org yeah, make sure it's polygon or and you see the all the information statics and everything and if you go um let's say usdc let's go look at usdc so in uniswap version 3 you have uh they have you know that's a different fee pool with the same pair like usdc and lap user and usc right you have this is 0.3 percent but then this is 0.05 percent so <clears throat> that's why you have to, you know, if you wanna uh, get the price on this pool, and you you have to uh, input five hundred, you know, and here, right? So why is why is five hundred, you know, not zero point zero five percent? So basically, it's because um, I have here. Um, so in solidity you cannot use these flow value, flow numbers. So the pool fee has to be inputted by a, you know, a, a integer, which is, uh, so you have, so you need to multiple by 10,000. Uh, 10, so 0.05% is gonna be 500, and 0.3% is gonna be uh, 3,000. 1% is like 10,000, okay? So yeah. So, if you so and also I have you know fees for famous um, token pair token pool. I have the fee right here, but if you wanna uh, get the price on like you know link or you know like other token, then you go to um, you know Uniswap official document, and then you try to check the price uh, fee and everything, right? Right. So yeah. Okay, and uh, yeah, pretty much. And also, you make sure you you input uh, you set this you know environment variable, like yeah, and place it on you know Ember file. Okay, make sure you don't dis you don't disclose this URL or private key. Okay, all right. Um, and okay, so let's see. Let's um, Get the price like this. Usually, I don't, do, I don't do this, but it's you know demonstration purpose. I will do this. Okay, and so input you hundred die and try to get uh, price on you know this trade. Okay, you can swap a die to USDC and the input is hundred die. Okay, let's do that. So first compile. Since it's a uh, this is uh, TypeScript, so I have to transpile. <clears throat> the code and node right like here 
and then you get the uh, you get the price all right you get the price uh, 99 90 93 USDC okay the input is 100 die then I get the uh, estimate price yeah okay kind of like this all right thank you for watching